Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, we will talk about how we can model some type of simple bedroom table. So it's for the uh, teenager and I want to talk about how we can model it. So let's get to work. First of all, I need to use the a rectangle tool for drawing most of my faces. So I'm going to start my job with the rectangle. And I want to draw some rectangle with some dimension about 60 centimeter to 60 centimeter. So I want to use it as the uh, file cacher or cabinet. So I'm going to click on the uh, push or pull extrude option in SketchUp. I'm going to click on it, move my cursor on this face, press control on my keyboard. Now I can left click and extrude it in some number that I really want. For example, I think something like 110 is enough. So I'm going to type 110 and press enter. So my first model created for me. Now I want to add some details on it. So I'm going to start with the downside. Click on the move option, press control, take one copy about six centimeter. Click on the extrude option and push it to the backside about two centimeter. Now I want to create file holders or cabinet caches so i'm going to click on the unmove option press ctrl take some copies for example maybe the total number is 104 so if i want to divide it i think something like 38 is good i'm going to take double copies so i'm going to type 2x and press enter something like that will happen so how i can make this a small part of this cabinet to the center point. Very simple. I want to select it, hold control, select the center cabinet in here, click on the uh, flip option next to the axis point. So I'm going to click on the uh, flip option and use the uh, blue axis as the uh, flip direction. So if I click on it, it will completely reverse for me. So it's very wonderful for the times that you want to edit your models very fast and easy. So I want to add some details for it. So I'm going to click on it, convert it to the group in here. But before detailing, I want to complete my model at the next to it. So I'm going to click on the tape measure, tape some table about maybe 72 is good. Click on the align option or maybe rectangle, draw my rectangle like this, click on the extrude, push it like that, about 100, push it to the back side. Remember to turn off the uh, double extrude with pressing control on your keyboard. So some number about 18 is enough. I'm gonna remove this tape measure line in here. So I want to click on it from this point, click on the uh, move option, press control, copy activated for me. Now I need to take some copy about 26, for example. All right, I'm going to select this face, hold shift, deselect the main face and this downside line. So I need to take some offset. So I'm going to click on the offset and take some offset like that about three centimeters so everything is done for me now i want to push it to the back side about 40 centimeter and everything is done so maybe it can come to the uh this point but i really don't like to disrupt so i'm going to click on it make group everything is done and now I want to add my details. First of all, I want to start my job with the edges. So I'm going to click on the uh, rectangle, add some details for this part of my job. So I'm going to click on the uh, component and press create and take some copies in different distances. But remember to rescale your jobs like that. Exactly step by step, every work I done, you can try to do it for your training. So when I click on the uh, first one, click on the extrude option, I can extrude it about maybe 1.6 like that. 
and now I can add some details on it. So this one has some different dimension with the other ones. I'm going to right click on it and make unique. So I'm going to click on this one. Add some details like that about 0 0.8. And for this one, I will repeat this job 0 0.8 and the details down for me. If you want to add more details, for example, some type of vacuum or inner extrude options, you can click on the offset tool and add some details like that, for example, an 8 centimeter, and push it a little bit to the back side like this. It completely depends on you and what you really want from your modeling. So I'm going to repeat it for this one. And everything is done. So I'm going to click on the uh, rectangle and add some another face for it as the uh, main cover of this file manager so i'm going to click on the group option all right everything is done and now i want to add some details for my table so i'm going to click on it click on this line move option copy activate it i'm going to type six extrude it to the back side about two centimeter and I want to take some multiple copies in some number like that. So something like this, for example, the shape of it is not really important. You only can check it out. So I'm going to click on the rectangle another time and add some details for it. I'm going to convert it to the component, take another copy extrude 1.6 like that and done so i'm going to click on this frame which i created before this tutorial so as you can see when i move my cursor on it i can select my face so i'm going to click on it and move it to this place it works as the uh, outer cover for your job and i think it's really good so Everything is done for us and our table created for us. And if I click on the uh, 3D warehouse, I think, I can download some new objects. For example, I'm going to type chave and press search. It takes a little bit of time. It depends on your network. So... You have word of chairs in here. You can select one of them for your job. And it completely depends on you. All right. I download my chair from the uh, SketchUp 3D warehouse extension on your SketchUp. You only need to log in with your Gmail account. And you can download these type of wonderful chairs and options for yourself. I'm going to rotate it about maybe 90 and I'm going to move it to this place. Maybe the dimension and scale of it is a little bit have some problems. So I can rescale it like this and I think everything is done. So if this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you have any comments about this tutorial, you can comment your opinion below this video. You can download this file below this video. It's about the uh, download file training. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.